All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urrutia here going over unit three, lesson five, practice problem number three. So let's start by reading the problem. Tyler and Elena are both on the cross country team. Tyler's distances and time for a training run are shown on the graph. Here, this graph. Elena's distances and times for a training run are given by the equation y equals 8.5x where X represents the distance in miles and Y represents the time in minutes. All right, question A, who ran farther in 10 minutes? <clears throat> how much farther? Explain how you know. B, calculate each runner's pace in minutes per mile. And then part C, who ran faster during the training run? Explain or show your reasoning. All right, so again, in this problem, what we're doing is we have two different uh, rates uh, that we're comparing. Tyler's, I'm going to be doing his work in orange, and Elena's in blue, okay? Here you see the equation for Elena's, y equals 8.5x, okay? And then the question, who ran farther, uh, how much farther, explain how you know. Okay, now the key here is for each one, we need to know what their unit rate is or how much they go for, how long it takes them for one mile. So I'm going to do this right here, Tyler. His unit rate, I see it on the graph. That's where it is one right here. I'm going to put the point right there. That's Tyler's unit rate. That tells you how long it takes him to run one mile. Okay, and then for Tyler, in his graph, I want you to notice here is miles. Now, this is minutes. The scale here on this uh, axis, it's going by... Um, Third. So each tick mark here is one third. How do I know that? Because there are six tick marks in between zero and two, six tick marks in between four, uh, two and four, six in between there. So every tick mark goes by one third. So this one right here will be eight and one third, eight and two thirds, <clears throat> eight and three thirds, which is nine, nine and one third, nine and two thirds, and then nine and three thirds, which is 10. So that's how I know. I think that's probably the most tricky part here is the way this scale is uh, made. So I know that this point right here, that's the unit rate. Remember when you see it in one on the graph, that's the unit rate. Okay, so we have eight and one third for one mile. Now for Elena, we have this equation, y equals 8.5x. And when you have an equation that is proportional, the unit rate is the number that's there being multiplied. So this unit rate for Elena is 8.8.5 minutes per mile. Okay, so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a small table for each one just so you can see what I'm calculating and to organize my work, okay? So now I have my table here for both. I made them there, right? This column here is miles. This column here is minutes. Okay, same for Elena, this column here is miles, this column here is minutes. Now the question is asking me for 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this row here with, for each one, for 10 minutes, right? <clears throat> and what I need to do is, basically what I'm looking for is, with my unit rate, I'm going to multiply a number that gives me 10. So for Tyler, 8.8 8 and a third, times a number is going to be 10. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to divide 10 divided by 8 and 1 third. And I'm going to do the same thing here for Elaine. I'm going to do 10 divided by 8 and a half. Okay, so I did uh, the division right here, 10 divided by 8.3 or 8 and a third. And then right here, 10 divided by 8 and a half. And I get what each how far each student runs eat for 10 minutes right here. Now you can see right away who runs farther. Tyler runs further in 10 minutes. How much further does Tyler run? I could just subtract these two numbers. I'm going to do this subtraction right here to see how much further Tyler runs than Elena. And I get two hundredths. So Tyler runs two hundredths of a mile further than Elena. Now, part B, we already kind of, we did the answer there. Calculate each runner's pace in minutes per mile. So when we did the unit right here, that's what we did there, minutes per mile. So how many miles they run? One, and then how many minutes it takes? So it takes uh, Tyler eight and a third minute 
uh, minutes to run the mile, and it takes Elena eight and a half minutes to run the mile. Okay, and you can see that here in the table that we did. So Tyler's unit rate, we actually got it from the graph because you were seeing where it is for one. Elena's unit rate, we got it right here in the equation. Okay, and then ask, uh, question C, who ran faster during the training one, run? This is actually a very easy question with all the work that we've done so far. So we know here that Tyler runs faster than Elena. It takes him less time to run a mile when they do one mile. When we saw 10 minutes, you see here Tyler ran more than Elena. So if Tyler runs faster in one mile, and runs faster at 10 miles, then Tyler will run faster. So Tyler runs faster, and what we can see here, because each student is going at a constant rate, um, if Tyler runs faster at one minute, then you know he's going to run faster at two minutes, at three minutes, so it's just in general going faster. And same for um, same for Elena, right? If Elena's going slower at one minute, then you know that no matter how many minutes, it will be the same uh, person going faster, okay? We see our explanation right here by answering part A, you're also answering part C, because if it's if Tyler runs farther in 10 minutes, then Tyler will, is the faster runner. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.